Hello today's video we have the following content. Yang Mi, who beat Zhao Liming in the first place, when did she start to lose ground? Here's the reason. In recent years, the focus of the TV drama industry is undoubtedly Zhao Liming's explosion, but at the same time, Yang Mi has been falling behind in the ridicule of the crowd again and again. When did this gap start to widen? Let's review the development of the two over the years and see the key moments. In 2011, Yang Mi became a household name with the drama palace, and her CP with Feng Shao Feng won the love of countless people. At the same time, Zhao Liming was just an unknown little dragon. However, because a rant was mistakenly regarded by Yang Mi's fans as directed at her, and received countless rants, Zhao Liying had to apologize. This time seemed to mark the beginning of the gap between the two. In 2013 and 2014, Yang Mi was at the peak of her career. Love, friendship, career, everything was as expected. Although the movie Tiny Times did not have a high reputation, it was widely discussed because of its popularity. In 2014, Yang Mi married Liu Kei and welcomed their love child, Xiaonu Omi. Yang Mi's state when she appeared on the red carpet was amazing, and the whole person radiated light. At the same time, Zhao Liying also began to emerge. She successfully played a gentle and lovely role in Legend of Lu Shen, her first leading role, and Secrets of Wife with Liu Kei In 2015, Zhao Liying won the Golden Eagle Goddess and caused a sensation with the TV series The Journey of Flower. From this time on, the two were on the same starting line. 2017 and 2018 can be called important moments for the two actresses. The broadcast of Yang Mi's masterpiece Three Lives Three Worlds Ten Miles of Peach Blossoms allowed her to successfully enter the film industry and complete the bit. However, at the same time, her marriage with Liu Kei also came to an end. Zhao Liying rose to a higher level again with Do You Know It Should Be Green, Fat, Red and Thin, and fell in love with Feng Shao Feng because of the play, and announced that they would get married and have children. This stage can be said to be the fork in the road for the two. Since 2021, Zhao Liying's TV series had become popular one after another. In works such as Wind Blows Half Summer and Happiness to 10,000 Homes, she successfully transformed her role image from a rural woman to a business tycoon. In contrast, Yang Mi seems to be able to only seize opportunities constantly, but she is either scolded for pretending to be young or being scolded for the plot being too fierce. Why is there such a gap? The reason is that Yang Mi is taking the capital route. She did not pay attention to the quality of her works in the early stage, but only cared about the quantity. At one time, she was shooting five dramas at the same time. How could such a working state really get into the play? Zhao Liying insisted on maintaining quality and quantity, and filmed her work step by step. It can be said that Yang Mi has obtained what she wanted, but the direction of pursuit is different. It is even more difficult to get the recognition of the audience. After all, not everything can be obtained. Yang Mi's decline and Zhao Liying's counterattack make us think about the relationship between capital and quality. Two actresses who have the same goal in different ways, one won a lot of attention in a short period of time, but followed by the audience's doubts about her works, while the other gradually developed in a steady state and finally won the recognition of the audience. We should not only focus on short-term glory, but also on long-term development. In this era where traffic is king, many people are pursuing the opportunity to become famous overnight, but unfortunately, success is often not so easy to come by. Zhao Liying's counterattack has given us an important revelation. Only by really working hard to polish our acting skills and works can we stand out in the fierce competition and gain the recognition and love of the audience. As self-media, we should deeply understand the reasons behind it, objectively analyze and put forward unique insights, rather than blindly follow the trend and pursue hot spots. Next news. Wang Yibo and Wu Jing are lucky enough to get paparazzi to do good deeds. The reasons behind this are worth pondering. Recently, there have been many disturbances in the entertainment industry, which can be described as shocked by hearing about HIV. During the Spring Festival, a shocking rumor came out of nowhere. It was rumored that a well-known male star was infected with HIV. The description was so detailed that it was shocking, and many celebrities were innocently implicated. It is not surprising that Wang Yibo was the first to be attacked. Wang Yibo has always been prone to criticism, and his rising popularity is naturally accompanied by many disturbances. Whenever there is some disturbance in the entertainment industry, he will inevitably be involved. In response to Wang Yibo's accidental involvement in the storm, Li Huo Entertainment quickly made a statement to clarify the facts and called the police. This move is reasonable, 
and the agency should assume the responsibility of maintaining the reputation of its artists. Surprisingly, the well-known entertainment reporter photographer Liu Dachi also spoke out. This time he did not reveal the shocking melon, but supported Wang Yibo to clarify the misunderstanding. A few short words easily helped Wang Yibo get rid of the entanglement of this absurd rumor. After Wang Yibo cleared his name, many netizens were still looking forward to Wu Jing's statement. After all, he was also innocently involved in this storm and became the focus of everyone's discussion. First, it was reported that Wu Jing was receiving treatment in Beijing, and then it was revealed that he went to Singapore to seek treatment. Various rumors about Wu Jing came one after another. Wu Jing has produced many excellent works in recent years, and fans naturally do not want to see him fall into negative storms, worrying that his image will be damaged. However, Wu Jing seemed quite calm. He never said a word about the rumors from the outside world, and seemed to have a calm attitude of the truth is self-evident and the rumors are self-defeating. On February 22nd, Wu Jing still kept a low profile, but the entertainment reporter Liu Dachu could not help but come forward to clarify the rumors for Wu Jing, and even joked that netizens had to be a little wise when eating melons. Netizens joked that Wang Yibo and Wu Jing were really lucky this time, and the entertainment reporter paparazzi could transform so much. You know, Liu Dachu is the one who exposed major events in the entertainment industry in the past. The relationship between Bai Jingtian and Song Yi was first disclosed by Liu Dachu, who is a leader in the paparazzi circle of the mainland entertainment circle and one of the most influential entertainment reporters after Su Away. Now in the storm between Wang Yibo and Wu Jing, Liu Dachu no longer plays the role of an entertainment reporter paparazzi, but has become a messenger of justice, actively speaking out to vindicate the two parties who have been wronged for no reason. The melanating crowd wondered why Wang Yibo and Wu Jing had such a strong influence. In an instant, all kinds of complicated speculations behind the scenes came one after another. However, the seemingly confusing mystery is not complicated. The motive of Liu Dachu's move is actually worth our deep consideration. As an entertainment reporter who often exposes the inside story of the entertainment circle, I have seen countless shocking events. However, the melon encountered this time is so bizarre that it is hard to believe that it is related to Wang Yibo and Wu Jing. Therefore, the Yudachu, who could not stand this absurdity, stood up twice to teach the majority of netizens the correct way to eat melons, emphasizing that we must maintain independent thinking and not be swayed by external information. Entertainment paparazzi have been in contact with various celebrities for a long time and know their character. Liu Dachu should also know something about Wang Yibo and Wu Jing, so he has trust in their character. Based on this, he firmly believes that the two will not be involved in negative events and takes the initiative to clarify rumors for them. The key to gaining a foothold in the entertainment industry is to maintain innocence and self-discipline. Once you behave improperly and are involved in scandals, the paparazzi will hear the news and quickly make your misconduct public. Therefore, Keeping oneself clean is the way to survive in the entertainment industry and an important rule for maintaining personal image. Even if the paparazzi has not revealed it, time will eventually reveal everything, and those hidden clues will eventually surface. After all, the truth will always be revealed to the world. I also hope that future whistleblowers can be more direct and clear, dare to point out the truth directly, and avoid vague words. After all, this will hurt many innocent people, right? The picture comes from the internet. If there is any infringement, please contact us in time. We will handle and delete it as soon as possible. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,